Who was Edward Clinton Carraby? My memories, though rich, are limited because sadly he passed away when I was only eight years old. Sadder still is that my children never knew him at all. So let me tell you a little about him. He was born in Mansfield, Massachusetts, and he grew up in that small town, graduating high school in 1918. As a young man, he worked for the area railroad as a brakeman. To turn that brake wheel, you needed strong arms and broad shoulders, and he had them. The veterans on the railroad took him under their wing, and they continued the education and the work ethic that he had inherited from his father. His entire life, he developed a passion for being the best that he could be. As a young man, courting my mother, he took an interest in making furniture. He eventually built an entire woodworking shop in his basement, and he spent hours there. He loved crafting hand-carved pieces of furniture. Over the years, he developed into such an artist and craftsman that became recognized as being among the finest in New England. Later in life, he took pride in his job as a rural postman. But above all else, it was how people viewed him that was his greatest legacy. He was known by everyone as a man of integrity, generosity, and honesty. He battled cancer the last two years of his life, but that great heart and great work ethic kept him on his job till just four days before he died. He was a good, good man. <laughs>